Hello again, Moses and Carmela here. Today we're going to go explore a 100-year-old abandoned greenhouse. Yeah, you can get a better view of both smokestacks here. And shows the differences in the, the style of brick, implying the different uh, time period that they were built. So again, I'm speculating that the circular one was built much later than the square style smokestack. Um, so the date really is 107 years. I guess I'd probably put it about the early 1900s that uh, the first part of this building would have been fabricated. Uh, I wonder what all this clay tile would have been for. This is interesting. It doesn't look like it's regular piping. And it doesn't look like it's for a roof. So I'm trying to think what sort of the garden purpose there might be for all this tile, but I'm not enough of an expert to know that. A stack of glass panes probably left over from the uh, greenhouse itself. See here the door at the bottom of the chimney, or I should say the smokestack for clearing this all out. And I can open that up now. The tree's been there so long that door's not opening. Uh, so Carmela found us the, the boiler room here. See a big blower which would help uh, take all the exhaust fumes out of the boiler and shove them up that smokestack. At one point, it might have been converted to run on fuel oil, I'm guessing. Lots of miscellaneous things, old cylinder bottle here. And parts of a small gasoline engine. Another big blower sitting on down there. Might actually looks like an electric motor down there. We can see. Got this delivery cart here. Cool, just looking at all the piping here. Um, I don't know if you can really get a sense of it. So this is the big boiler. Um, you can see down here that the fire would be down at this side here for. Again, we're presuming it was oil, although it might have been coal at one time. And this is the bottom of the exhaust, which is now all all rusted out, which would have gone to the smokestack. I bet this at one time was an electrical panel. Yep, that's an electrical panel. And storage for repairing the place. Lots of different fittings and pipes. You have to do repairs. Uh, more of the other side angle of the boiler here. Now you can see the steam pipe coming on out the top there, uh, feeding on over into the rest of the building. It'll provide heat for all the different steam radiators, I'm sure. And this room is so collapsed, I don't think we're going in there, but oddly enough, uh, it's light seat. There's a car parked in here. 
Well, they talk about having barn finds. I don't know if this one's worth finding or not. I can't even tell what model it is. I'm guessing it's from the 50s, just as a first guess. The shape of it, but it's hard to really say. Can't see through the fence. We got a radiator there. Now there's some sort of pump over here on the ground. A bucket of miscellaneous parts for repairs. I'm guessing that's a saw from a bandsaw. Some water return or steam return lines. I mean, here you can really get an idea of the steam manifold here. Yep, that's the steam line that would have come from our boiler and then routed through the rest of the building to heat the place up. Uh, looks like even a uh, Omodine. Uh, could it be a filter or a cooler? I can't quite tell. I'm going to guess that that's a cooler. Brand K Boiler, not that I know what Brand K is. Looks like I've seen the back side of a big pressure gauge there. More, I'm guessing, fuel tanks, so I'm not really sure. A lot of cool stuff back here. Another tank of some sort. Okay, so right over there it starts to have a subfloor. Oh, you can see that right there, yep. So you don't want to walk past that point. Yep. So this is covering up some sort of channel, probably for some pipes down in here. So we don't want to be walking on that. This is all routed out. In fact, you can see it goes down at a pit there for some, some water. Um, Shells for tools. Even a big metal box, almost like a safe, it kind of looks like over there. I'll zoom in a bit. Like a fire cabinet. Uh, there's a heater that we used to be hanging up there. Uh, so this would have been the maintenance shop and tool room, I guess you could call it. Uh, main electrical panel for the building. Uh, new enough to actually that they put for fire code. You can see they put the foam up around where the uh, conduit came out the roof of the, the area. And I see a clock on the wall. What is this thing? Can I zoom in enough? Can't. Is that a time clock or is that a scale? I can't quite make that out. We'll have to figure that one out later. I think it might be a scale. I'm not sure. And it actually looks like a second boiler right over in here. So I know it's kind of hidden back there, but you can see the big pipe coming out of it. Steam pipe. So that kind of fits the philosophy that they had one boiler at first with this chimney. And then they had to increase the heating capacity, and that's when they added the second boiler back here and the second smokestack. So in the greenhouse area, you can look at the size of the tree. We're speculating this might have actually been outside the greenhouse. Or maybe it was just temporary coverings that they can put here. You can see things down on the ground here, various pipes. Maybe it had another one of these plastic or glass enclosures that's long decayed. Um, see into another potting room in here. Mm, 
let's go see where Carmela's leading us to. She's good at finding things. Wow, lots of pots. Yeah, it looks like a workbench for doing the potting. Oh, I'm gonna look inside the more pots. <laughs> wow. Yep, it was definitely a greenhouse. Definitely a small nursery here. Get another heater here. Actually, it might have taken the. Uh, this one looks like an auxiliary heater. I'd say this was a gas fired one added at a later date because you can see the. Uh, a gas valve down there. Okay. Extension ladder that's been here a while. And even some Christmas stuff. Okay, we might not actually get further at this point. Carmelo's gonna check it out. Nope. Curious what this in this big box here. Especially the head insulation on it. Oh, there's something a new brand new appliance was under here. Received it and never uh, put it into commission. I don't know what it was. Maybe a small refrigerator? Yeah, I don't want to open it up. I don't want to disturb it too much. No. Got a good view back in the potting room area here. Yeah, I think you're right. You're gonna blaze a trail this way or should we go back? You think you can make it? And for being abandoned for only two years, much of this has been left alone for much, much longer time than that. And I think there's only a small portion of this that was actually kept operational. So I would guess that all these metal pipes, they would probably circulate hot water through here to keep the plants warm that were on the table. And you can see that the glass greenhouse is Quite large actually. It goes all the way down. You know, it's kind of overgrown. And we got quite a trek all the way through the vines to get way down there. So we have to figure our way on down there. Decorative pots there. It used to be a pretty large greenhouse area here, but it's been derelict for many years. Well, I bet this big fan at one time was sitting on the roof, big ventilation fan.
that other kind of appliance that we saw in the box right here. Whatever this thing was, a refrigerator, I'm guessing. Yeah. You can see a coil It'll be for free on there. And all locked up. Okay. Be careful driving your car. Drive slowly. Obey all traffic laws. Only drive at night. Best to not drive at all. Stop if you see a squirrel. No dogs allowed. No hunting allowed. If you like peanut butter, sunflower seeds are good too. Plant a garden with strawberries and tomatoes. Visit Carmela Sanctuary or Squirrels. Say hi to my cousins. Go to Brevard's White Squirrel Festival. Support the United Federation of Bushy Tails. Getting, you're getting too close. Go away, go away. You're too close. You're too close. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Disking machine, disking attachment, I should say. A giant lawnmower attachment for one of these tractors. I made it into the uh, right into that potting room. The office here, huh? Office up at nine four for work coming out of the sink. So that would be the end of the greenhouse? Green first and then go back for that? Yeah. And ta da, it's the greenhouse. hardware for I guess putting maybe the framework together. I guess it's just interesting when it gets abandoned now it's just there's so much stuff just it's left stupid. out. I mean look at these plants that they never sold but just like hanging yeah. here. Well I guess what are they really gonna do with it? They probably mm -hmm. yeah. yeah a whole network of uh Sprayer for irrigation. A lot of electrical parts. Case for DeWalt, something or other. Hmm. It was a metal case. <laughs> Seat from the car? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, well, look at this poor little reindeer here. I don't know if I can get a good shot of it. Hopefully, you guys can all see it there. It's made out of vine, this. Reindeer that never got sold. Poor little reindeer. It did not have a red nose, so that's why it got stuck here. It did not make it to the island of misfit toys. Wow. Wow. 
You can't get enough torque with that wrench. Mm, well, story's over with. Wow, can you pick it up? Show the sense of scale of it. <laughs> yeah. Carmella's a plumber. Mm. Mm. Uh, I guess Christmas ornament decorations? Yeah. I, I don't quite know. Yeah, looks like Christmas ornaments. Big fan at the end here. Christmas wreath there. More Christmas decorations. This concludes our greenhouse exploration. Please check out our channel for other videos. Thank you.